Hey guys, welcome back. This is Eric the Starrett playing Ark Survival Evolved. Now, today I've got some nice little mods for you. Also get a very cute little table. That is called the Costume Shop. One of the few mods found in the workshop community that I find very nice on servers and very essential for certain people that like skins and there are people on the server that like event skins, but... Casually, you don't have time to be on at all times to get the event items, or boss items. Or, for those of you who really want to be happy, for those who didn't get the PS4 skins because we were on PS PC, then we got screwed. Now, regrettably, it does not have the Rex skin. Apparently, that's not in the dev kit, so we have no access to it. But, we get everything else. Example A. Every single thing. The only thing I noticed in the kit that does not work is the one of the dino glass skins. I think it's the old one right here. It will not work. Other than that, everything will work. You can make all the things. The prices are relatively fine. Oh so yeah, you can make all this skin. this a chest and I don't got a chest yeah I can put on my scuba suit maybe Let's see if we can make a scuba suit yes we can oh it doesn't even look like a scuba suit that's cool you literally look like you're an undersea adventurer and not even have a scuba suit look at this <laughs> holy crap that is the manticore armor that we did not get a hold of Due to other issues and stuff that I have no clue about. Because I'm not deaf. But it also has all the cave loots. Like the sword. Torch. Pike. Your firework launcher skins. All the extra deals. The backer skins. Apparently uses the same program. You can even get the Dodo Rex things that came from Halloween during non-Halloween. You can pick these guys things up for anybody, and anybody on the server can make these. It is extremely convenient to make these. You can summon that. Does that thing look like? Holy crap, that thing's weird looking when you're holding it. Uh, the club doesn't have it on it. You got the pike, though. Oh, look at that baby. It looks cool. Also got the candy cane you can summon during any time you want. You can make a bunny. I want to make a freaking bunny. You can do the normal dino Rex skins. Probably I don't got a Rex next to me, but I think all most of us know what the heck this looks like. Let's see. You can do all the bone costumes, all the witch hats. It doesn't require anything but metal. The person who made this mod obviously thought, you know, you get the most easiest resource other than rocks <laughs> or thatch or wood. <coughs> Pretty much it gives you a gold drop for something you want to do. Now, one thing I love is having the bunny not being during Easter because that thing sucks. Got all the Easter eggs. Look at the Easter eggs inside of this little basket. That big fat bunny tail. It just looks cool. I love seeing these little things. I didn't get access to it. I tried. And in arcs, I reset the darn dodos. Bunny dodos, that is. But it, it looks awesome. It, it would have been a nice thing to be able to, for most people to get these. Um, if you're wondering what the dragon is over there, I will show you in a moment. That thing is OP as hell. Uh, let's see what we get. We get the Bionic Giga. Holy balls, it looks awesome. And yes, this is a skin permanently. It makes it look all techy. So when you have that tech stuff, oh god, I'm hoping this is possible. Or when you get the saddle that has the tech giga saddle on it, this thing will even look more damn badass. <laughs> It'll have freaking lasers! <sighs> now this is another mod I use every once in a blue moon. And I will go back to the other mod because there's a ton of crap in there I need to go. But this is what, in case people are wondering... This is the God Waverin mod. 
It regrettably will not be updated anymore, but you are more than welcome to download it from the workshop. Uh, it is literally OP as hell. It is for admins only. Don't let this free on your normal server, or dear God, you will just make a, the world go to hell on your server. <laughs> but, I think, I don't know if it can handle costumes, but yeah, it can't handle costumes. So, what I'll do is summon another dragon real quick. You get the code for it. Hope the hell this doesn't go really, really bad all of a sudden. <laughs> I just noticed when this thing's showing, it doesn't always show the pike. No, tab out, hold on. Because I don't have that thing sitting around going, hmm, where's the dragon? I kind of was hoping the mud dragon could do it, because that would have been really cool to make that thing have a different skin on it, to be in, in, you know, cognito or something. Summon a dragon. We're going to Lightning Wayroon. Oh, no. Hmm. I wish I had Fort's Tame sitting here ready. Oh, shoot. There we go. I got it. Oh, that was lucky. He was going to run right into my freaking guys. And you landed in a freaking awesome place that I don't have to run far. Thank you, Dragon. First time that ever worked. Oof. What a dragon did I get? Well, that wasn't a bad one. All right, but the costume stands, you can use it on, you know, you can make your lightning dragon look like poison. I mean, it looks ugly as balls, man. Look at the freaking skin on these little bastards. Do I even have a resolution on Max? Yes, I do. Okay. It's like, I want to see how much this thing actually, how ugly this damn thing looks balls to walls. It is ugly. You can then change it to be the lightning dragon. Doesn't have to be, you know, that type of a dragon. So you could make, you know, your server does PvP. This won't really jack it up. It'll make people think on their toes, though. <laughs> people won't know whether or not the dragon's a dragon or a dragon's a fire or, whatever, you know, everything else. Here's what that one looks like. Ow. Oh man, I just never can get over seeing that giant thing. That thing looks cool. We were uh, promised it in SE. Or, not SE. Uh, the Survival of the Fittest game. 200 wins. I have not seen anybody able to bring it over. Apparently it was in-game only for that. Then the PS4 got it for free, which just pissed me off, believe me, as a player. And so now we are getting to see it as a mod, which at least, you know, it's something. It's better than nothing. Go back to this. You know, you can you can also do all the dev kits. You know, survival of fittest hats. Uh, you can do the bunny ears for the dinos, the birthday hats for them, every single stupid skin, including the Gigasaurus bone skin. I will show you that one because that's that's one of my favorites. Ah, oh, there's my club skin. I don't know where that was. Change this, because I want to show you guys something. Okay. Now, I'll show you this. The vampire skin that not many of you got, and the ones who did, congrats. I, You know, you guys are really lucky. Um, the eyes can be painted. If you don't like the color, say it's yellow, you'd paint the mask. And it'll change according to what the eyes are, according to what color paint you used. Now, we'll try this. I didn't get access to this, because on my server, the Giga decided not to spawn. It had a skeleton on it. If you think I'm kidding, trust me, I had half the server helping me look for this thing. This is what the Bone Giga costume looked like. It was badass as hell. Oh. I, and by the way, this mod is very lightweight. It, it just, I think it was less than 40 megs on my server. Now, I do have this, which is an egg incubator. This is from the egg thatch and poop incubator. It's electronic it's supposed to be powered just like a thing generator wood and everything else and then we have an egg and poop collector and a fertilizer and thatch and fertilizer collector I don't know why I guess this is for an alternative use instead of uh, 
little, you know, what they call it. Uh, dung beetles. What's this one? Apparently they're both unpowered? Alright, let me try summoning a generator. Hold on a second, guys. Do not know every single arc ID in history. We need some gas and some generator. Oh. 189. And it was fuel. There's that typing gas, don't I? 164. Oops. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, I got gasoline. Eight. That was one sixty-eight. Well, how about again? Eighty-nine. Okay, that was way off. <laughs> Figures. I can't remember junk. I can't even focus on some things. There's an outlet. I don't care which. I don't even care. Hey, K, okay, didn't I? No. Okay, now that we got all that junk corrected, now we can see what this looks like lit up. Uh, I just punched my freaking item. That'll work beautifully. Now it still says unpowered. Am I supposed to actually run a light? Maybe because it's done because of power to it? Really? I'm actually supposed to... Oh, there it goes. Powered. See? They light up. You throw the Eggie on there, and it powers it and everything else without having to have anything. And same with that. It'll just start collecting. And you can change this mod to collect bigger or more area to your base or more area around the base. And yes, there's other mods, but I'm saying these are lightweight mods you can put inside. It makes it look kind of techy-like. The incubator... Also is that, and let me, I think I have the thatch one here sitting. Yeah, this little one looks, ah, it's so tiny and cute. <laughs> wow, never mind. I know why people even use this thing. This thing is huge. How big does the poop collector have it? Is it wait, is it already collecting poop from where? Apparently my dragons and everything, as soon as they poop, they get it. Yeah, well, shoot. And here is another mask. Here's the wolf one that most people are not eating. So I mean, the wolf mask, which some of you may or may not get to see. Oh yeah, that just looks sexy. Just bend down over. Yeah, you want to see sexiest man of the year? Oof. Look like that. Um, you you can do the horrible clown mask, which you saw in their video. Which that thing absolutely terrifies the crap out of me. I'll be honest with you. Uh, I would not be happy seeing a clown in my area with that on. Mm. You've then got, you know, the firework launcher. I don't think I got the firework on this thing. Let me make it real quick. Oh, shoot. Oh, no, no, no. Ark, is there a way you could stink and stop resetting my abilities once I freaking server reset? Yeesh. Command lines keep getting prompt. Alright, this is how your rock launcher looks with the Fort July skins. Ooh, pretty. It's more prettier during the night. I, I won't deny it. You can get like four or five people if you have enough stuff and just do a Fort July firework party on unofficial servers. <clears throat> My Senate Club, you can make it look like a candy cane. I just feel like shocking the crap out of it. Um. Yeah, them are the, you know, the, those are the things you can get the dev kit, hat skins, chieftain ones, even the mistletoe reindeer one. Like I said, it's all relatively cheap in the dodo masks. But it makes things a lot of fun. You can say it makes, you know, something not to go after, but in my terms, it makes it easier for people to actually want to join together and find, you know, and have fun and look good during the holidays. Alright, guys. Let me know what you think in the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye!